The signing of the Declaration of Independence is a major part of the history of the U.S. It solidified the rebellion against Britain and laid a foundation for the U.S. to build from. The Declaration is one of Thomas Jefferson's major accomplishments as a revolutionary and as president. His role as founding father was comparatively greater than the others. Jefferson is my nominee for the Hall of Fame for his accomplishments and achievements as founding father. Although a committee of five people contributed to the writing of the Declaration, Jefferson was responsible for the vast majority of this landmark document and is given most of the credit for it. It took him and his helpers 17 days to draft this piece of paper that has been the basis of American democracy and independence for 247 years. Without the Declaration of Independence, there is a very significant possibility that the United States could still be under British rule. Claiming our independence did not only affect this country, but nearly every country that escaped British colonialism. Without the U.S. leading the way with Jefferson's penmanship in the front, France may have never escaped Britain, nor would the 64 other countries that have escaped from British rule since our legendary war. The Founding Fathers all had a part in the Revolutionary War, but Jefferson's was, perhaps, the most monumental. Following the war, Governing the country was another really difficult challenge to face. Only a few founding fathers went on to become president and alter the way the United States was actually governed. Jefferson was one of only four, further impacting his importance. During his presidency, Jefferson made maybe one of the most influential decisions in expansionist history, the Louisiana Purchase. This land grab multiplied the amount of United States there was to govern. Without the Louisiana Purchase, westward expansion in the late 1800s would not have been nearly as possible. Technically, without the Louisiana Purchase, most of the United States that exists today might not have been geographically, culturally, or politically the same as it is now. Maybe the Civil War might not have happened due to slavery tensions over new states being formed. We can never know for sure, but either way, Jefferson's decisions had a profound and lasting impact on the country, whether for the better or the worse. Finally, Thomas Jefferson had conflicted parts of life. He began his formal education at the age of nine tutored by Reverend William Douglas, though his life changed when his father died when he was 14. Jefferson now inherited a large plantation with 52 enslaved individuals around 5,000 acres and his father's entire estate. And while he opposed slavery publicly, his decisions at his plantation were contradictory more often than not. And his lack of substantial action to abolish slavery doesn't support his public platform. Although his owning of slaves was a major shortcoming, Thomas Jefferson should still be recognized by the AP United States History Hall of Fame.